Okay, hello and welcome to today's FCICA promotional webinar series. We are pleased to have Ryan Hill from Protect All Flooring with us today to talk about their innovative products. And Ryan, I'll turn the session over to you. Great, thank you Kelly. Uh, welcome everybody and thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you uh, to FCICA for uh, letting us present to everyone out there and um, Happy New Year everyone. Um, what we're going to do this afternoon or this morning, depending on where you are, <coughs> is a, um, a brief run through of Oscar to Plastics, which is Protect All Flooring. Um, I'll be able to uh, give you a little bit of history uh, of the company, uh, history of the product, the evolution of the product, um, and then how it is installed, what it is made for, where it excels, um, where you would present a product like this uh, in certain situations. Um, and then at the end, uh, any questions that you have, any concerns, please feel free. Um, my email will be available at the end of this webinar as well. Uh, and then there are five handouts on the right side of your screen, uh, which will give you some feature benefits, um, a couple product data sheets, things like that, and corporate brochure. So a snapshot of um, materials for you. So uh, without further ado, let's we'll go ahead and get started. Um, and uh, we'll welcome you to uh, Protect All Flooring. Bear with me real fast, I apologize. Let's see, Kelly, it's not switching. Go ahead and click on your screen there, Ryan. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so Oscar to Plastics, uh, which is Protect All Flooring. So now it's going to move forward. Um, so we were uh, founded in 1996. Um, the Protect All, the, the flooring itself was actually produced and, and created back in 1989. Um, it is a, a manufacturing process that fuses remnant industrial strength vinyl uh, into a monolithic piece of flooring material. Um, so what, what we've got actually is a product that is um, produced or created um, from a post-industrial vinyl from our sister company. Uh, and I'll give you a little bit of history um, real quick. Protect All Flooring is a, um, a byproduct of our sister company, which is Duralast Roofing, um, which is a manufacturer. We manufacture a single, double, triple ply uh, roofing material for commercial roofing installations that go on flat roofs that create a waterproof system. Um, what we do is we take remnants from our manufacturing facility, we regrind it, and um, re extrude it into a flooring material. Um, so this product, as you can see, it's ideal for new installations, remodels, and renovations. It is a commercial grade product. It is a slip resistant um, product certified by the uh, NFSI for over 20 years. This product, uh, some fun facts, what makes it unique out in the marketplace. Um, as I said, how it was kind of made there from our sister company, Duralast Roofing, um, it is made over from 90% recycled material. Um, but if you look at how we manufacture our vinyl roofing systems, it actually is a 100% recycled product, uh, which would be the only one in the world. It is a true um, kind of cradle to grave uh, product because we do manufacture, we do produce the original vinyl for the flooring or for the roofing system and turn it into a flooring system. Um, so it does start and finish within our organization, which is uh, extremely rare. Uh, it is a PVC product. Um, the uh, product sizes, uh, we've got uh, majority of our installations, the majority of the product, we use our 5 by 8 sheets. So 80% of our business is a 5 by 8 sheet and it's a quarter of an inch thick. So if you can imagine a solid piece of vinyl of that size, they weigh about 73 pounds per piece. Um, so they're extremely heavy, extremely substantial. Uh, 
Uh, and the reason why we do this is just for the nature of the reason for the product was developed for commercial kitchen applications initially. Um, now there are a ton of other applications and we're going to go through and highlight a few of them. Um, but what that creates is a truly forever floor uh, with zero repairs, um, no punctures, you know, no grout replacements. If uh, you're looking at a kitchen with quarry tile, um, it is a solid piece of vinyl so it's non-porous. So you're not going to get any odors or any fat or anything else uh, leaking into the floor, no penetration whatsoever. Uh, we manufacture it in a uh, lighter version, which is an eighth inch thick product. Um, usually we'll use that in light traffic applications. Also we use that uh, a lot of outdoor applications on roofs. So if you've got a commercial building and there's big AC units, they'll actually put the eighth inch material as uh, walkways. Um, across a building for construction traffic to go from uh, AC unit or HVAC unit, what have you, uh, without damaging the roof. Um, so it is an indoor-outdoor product depending on the application. Um, we have uh, seven colors. Um, it is a uh, commercial grade and industrial product, so it is not meant to be extremely pretty. It is made for exactly what its uh, uh, purpose is, and it's to be durable, to be a forever floor. Um, it does come in a couple different matte finish or a different matte finish and a high gloss finish. Um, a majority of the business that we do in our production uh, is in the matte finish. Um, the gloss product is something that we see we'll do a lot of university work, a lot of indoor recreation areas, basketball courts, um, you know, rec centers, those sort of things. Um, they like the high gloss finish with the basketball lines or volleyball lines and things like that. So those are two finishes. Um, one thing that's extremely unique about this product is the coefficient of friction, the slip resistance. Uh, it has a COF of 88 dry and 92 wet. So the product actually gets better uh, and gets a greater slip resistance as it gets wet, um, which is extremely unique uh, in the marketplace for any product out there. Uh, which is why we do a lot of indoor pools, um, the big uh, indoor water parks, hotels, things like that. Um, because of the slip resistance, the soft underfoot, uh, it makes it an ideal product for round pools. Uh, we've got some really neat um, installations around the country uh, from indoor water parks. We actually uh, are in the NASA training facility, the zero gravity pool, places like that, that it's all protect all around the pools. So it is, a, it is a quite unique product um, that is not just for commercial kitchens anymore, but uh, there are tons of applications. Uh, another product that we do make out of this material is a, um, an 18 inch by 18 inch interlocking tile. Uh, it's not listed here. Um, the reason for us producing that is for the need of inter interlocking tile in places like gyms, workout facilities, hockey arenas, things like that. Um, in locker rooms in particular, uh, a, a porous product, some rubber products, anything out there that any sort of um, moisture or in you know, the sports world a sweat can get into, it's going to create an odor of that sweat. So sometimes you'll walk into a workout facility or a locker room and you can smell um, you know, the sweat from the, uh, from the athletes, and usually that's because it's leaked into the floor. Uh, with a non-porous 100% vinyl product, that will never happen. You'll never retain the, uh, the smell of a locker room or a gymnasium. Um, so that is where the interlocking tiles really exceed and uh, do well in the marketplace for us, at least. There's a couple features and benefits here. Uh, obviously, the environmental aspect being how it is created, uh, being as it is a start to finish product with our manufacturing facilities, um, the way we utilize the excess vinyl from Duralast makes it extremely, extremely unique. Um, and I'll give you a little quick background uh, on how that came to be with the recycling, kind of some history that's I think is pretty neat. John Burke is the gentleman that created Duralast Roofing and the company, the founder and CEO. Um, 
he was a man that really invented almost uh, the idea of a lean manufacturing facility. And I say that because uh, as he was producing this material, knew that it was a good material, um, started Duralast and started having contractors around the country install this, he was buying products um, to do the trim pieces um, from other manufacturers. Uh, so in order to kind of boost his economy and his company and really make it lean, he started a vinyl trim uh, company. So he wouldn't have to outsource that. Well, with vinyl trim pieces and things like that, there are um, screws and fasteners. So then he started a metal manufacturing company um, to make all the screws and fasteners for that. So he didn't have to outsource that. Um, this is exactly how Duralast or how Protectol came along, Oscoda Plastics, is because he had scraps uh, on job sites in the manufacturing facility and didn't want to waste anything. Uh, so he utilized those scraps. We came up with this product. Um, and then the last thing was so many companies, he was buying shirts and uniforms for everybody. He developed and started a um, embroidery company. So now we make our, all our own clothing. So it's kind of neat. Very innovative mind, very neat man. Um, you'll see that innovation goes through all of our companies on how we can uh, create and stay in-house and keep creating better products, uh, healthier products within our organization, um, boosting local economies. We are a Michigan-based uh, company as well, if you did not know that. Uh, going back to the slip resistance, the future benefits, the comfort and durability, um, in the commercial kitchen world, life safety is something very big. Um, you've got individuals uh, in kitchens that are standing on hard surface most of the time. Um, if you go, to, if you're in the A and D world, uh, you're talking to designers and architects or building people, and you ask them well, what's in the kitchen, it's always quarry tile. If you ask them the second question of why you're using quarry tile, usually you will not. They don't have an answer. It's just because that's what kitchens have. Um, but they've got people standing on this quarry tile for eight, 10 hour shifts. So when you introduce something that's got a, um, a benefit for their employees to stand on, it's more comfortable and it has a better slip resistance than a quarry tile, even with the diamond um, grit quarry tile, um, you've got something that's gonna get their attention. Um, it is non-porous, like I said, the easy cleaning and low maintenance uh, we're talking about a deck brush and some simple green to clean the floor every night. So we've got a video that's going to be coming up really soon. It's going to show exactly how we recommend this product gets cleaned. Um, so it's extremely low maintenance. Uh, the seam reduction, obviously, with 5 by 8 sheets, this is a cold welded system. So the sheets are installed. Uh, it is a two-part epoxy that's installed with staggered seams. The installers then route out the seams and it uh, install a cold weld, which is patented to us. It's called a rapid weld, which we developed about five years ago. Um, if you take in a thousand square foot kitchen with five by eight sheets versus eight by eight quarry tile, uh, you can just imagine the reduction of seams and grout joints. Uh, it's overwhelming. The rapid weld seams, we're going to get into that in a little bit. Uh, Two-story applications are just noise dampening and sound. With the modern-day restaurant, a lot of exposed kitchens, they like to show off the chefs, show off the, uh, the people cooking. Um, the sound dampening is second to none, a versa hard surface, an epoxy floor, anything like that. Uh, you've got basically people walking on a cushion floor. Um, and then the temperature resistance, it is flame retardant up to 750 degrees. We do pizza chains all across the country. So there are pizza ovens sitting on this. Uh, I like to tell restaurant groups, franchise, corporate end users, if, uh, if the floor is on fire, your building's on fire. Um, that's about where it sits. So it has this extremely high range of uh, temperature. Our main applications for a product like this, um, obviously the commercial kitchens, why we invented the product in the first place. Uh, we do a lot of assisted living facilities just for the slip resistance and comfort underfoot. Um, that's a huge market for us. Uh, we do grocery stores, um, a lot of Whole Foods, Myers, things like that. Uh, a product like this you'll find in the bakeries, the butchers, um, kind of the back of house areas, not necessarily through the halls or any or the aisleways or anything like that. Um, 
But in the back of house where you've got people standing all day, need easy cleanup, there's grease, there's fryers, there's you know, rotisserie chickens, things like that. Um, that's where this product excels. Uh, coolers, vaults, freezers, the product will not freeze. So it is in freezers all over the country, and you get lots of gas stations, commercial restaurant applications, things like that. Um, one is, you know, if there is a defrost in the freezer, uh, you've got animal blood, fat, things like that leaking on it. Uh, you've got an easy cleanup. It's not porous, so you don't get a bacteria issue. Uh, whereas with quarry tile or a grout system of any type, you're going to run into that um, problem. We do do a lot of breweries. Um, Mainly, again, the slip resistance and the comfort underfoot with for breweries. Uh, breweries are popping up uh, every other day. You'll see another microbrewery. Um, but those guys are on their feet uh, 12, 13 hours a day. Uh, most brewers are running nonstop to keep up with the demand. Um, so it is a great, great product for them. Again, Ice Arenas, we do a lot of, uh, a lot of sports facilities, indoor and outdoor, uh, from uh, Hockey rinks all across the country, just because the toughness of the product, the skates will not damage the product. Um, the slip resistance when snow and ice and frost gets on it, you've got that benefit. Uh, we do a lot of baseball facilities inside of dugouts, uh, as well as behind the scenes, uh, behind the concession stands, where they're constantly spilling stuff, people are on it, it's high traffic. Um, so you've got places like that. The retail world is something that's uh, starting to kind of grow with Protect All as a product. Um, initially, we weren't marketing this product uh, to retail purely because of aesthetics. Um, it is not a pretty, pretty product. Um, and I have no problem saying that or admitting that because it's, it's just not. Um, it is industrial. It is tough. Um, and it's not colorful carpet, uh, LVT that looks like wood, it's nothing like that. Uh, but what it does have is stain resistance far greater than any other product in the market. So with hair salons, they have been putting down fancy LVT because it's easy to sweep the hair and things, but they're getting stains from hair dyes and chemicals that they use. Um, our product is resistant to everything like that. So we're starting to see trends of uh, different franchise um, or salons that are starting to uh, standardize on Protect All. Um, with the color options that are out there, if they do go with the dark gray or the black, uh, a lot of the decor just becomes a real uh, almost uh, minimalist or modern or you know urban rustic style designs out there right now, so it actually fits well. Um, obviously locker rooms, spas, and resorts, we spoke about surgical and urgent care as well. Um, the doggy daycare centers, veterinarian clinics, anything like that, if you have those types of clients, this is an ideal product. We do hundreds of them a year. Um, it is soft for the dogs. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than the stand-on. Also, again, the non-porous aspect of it, um, those, they deal with dog urine and cat urine on a daily basis. So to have a product that's not going to absorb anything, they, they can just wipe off. Um, and not worry about an odor, it's a huge benefit for those two reasons, um, obviously, and it's tough for the nails and claws, so it won't get damaged, it won't scratch. Um, you've got uh, a lot of business out there if you have those types of clients, obviously the indoor pools, fitness centers, um, education and government. The education aspect in the university work, this product, a lot of universities will buy the sheets, the 5 by 8 sheets, um, and they store them. Um, and the reason why they do this is if they have a, an event, a graduation, and they're going to use their indoor basketball rink, hockey rink, something like that, they can literally lay these sheets out in a staggered pattern. Um, because of the sheer weight of each particular sheet, they're not going to move anywhere. So they use it more as a protective floor. Um, they can cover their hardwood floor in the basketball arena at Ohio State University, and they can have a concert and pick them up, store them. They'll never get, uh, it will damage the floor. You can lay it right on top of ice, same thing, have a concert or graduation sort of thing. So there's a lot of different applications that don't require an inst a permanent installation. Because of the size of the sheets, um, it makes that possible. A 
couple of our national accounts, we are really big with national and corporate accounts, corporate end users across the country. Um, this is just a small blank or a small snapshot of some of the people where you can go find our product in their kitchens or their back of house. Um, so usually you'll see, you know, many of these restaurants. Uh, a majority of our business percentage-wise is in the food service industry. Um, we're picking up more clients every year as remodels. It's getting more competitive out there for design. So a lot of um, national food chains are, are in the middle of rebranding and have been. Um, rather than go back to quarry tile, um, you're going at, uh, they're going a different route. They're using Protect All in all their kitchens. Uh, new builds as far as remodels as well. So it can be used in any sort of remodel. Um, obviously, the existing quarry tile would have to come up. The floor prep would have to be done, but um, they're willing to make that investment. Um, at the end of the day, the investment is very minimal compared to uh, an a quarry tile with epoxy grout. It's uh, really apples and apples as far as the pricing is concerned. Um, a quick story for the uh, dealers and installers out listening. Um, a big selling point, uh, Denny's, the restaurant chain, uh, just recently we have become their new corporate spec as they move forward in all their uh, remodels and their new builds. Uh, they've got a whole new design out there in the market right now. And, um, one of the most powerful conversations I, I got to have with them, the corporate team, when we were doing this and putting together the deal, was their repair costs. I had asked them, what are their repair costs per restaurant per year? And uh, they knew, the director of construction said, we budget $1,500 every quarter for tile repair in the kitchens, regrouting, broken tiles, and things of that nature. So $6,000 a year. Um, is what they budgeted uh, per restaurant. So 2017, we're, I think there's 300 restaurants scheduled. So if you took that $3,000 or $6,000 times those 300 restaurants, at the end of the day, they just pocketed all that money uh, because they're gonna put in a flooring system and they won't have that budget anymore of repair costs. Once this is down and in, installed by a certified uh, Protect All dealer, it's there forever. Um, so what that did was um, obviously made them extremely happy. Those conversations are powerful conversations to have with clients that you might have out there. Um, really the bottom line numbers, um, and then you can bring in the life safety aspect of the flooring. Um, and that's why we do so much business with national food chains across the country. Uh, Burger King and one uh, just uh, redid their corporate specs. So now, so Burger King's moving forward, we'll be using this product. But they were more into the safety, also in the cost, uh, they realize that this does not cost them any more um, than what they're currently using and they're just going to save money in the long run with the repairs as well. So um, You'll see it. Uh, I always tell people to uh, peek behind bars or look in the kitchens if you're at a restaurant and you'll recognize it. Um, if it's down, it's, you'll see it. Let me, uh... So. In the competitive world, what we're doing or who we're going after, um, we're not really going after anyone, we're, but we are compared to a couple different products out in the market just because of the nature and the bulk of our business that is commercial kitchens. Obviously, I keep mentioning quarry tile. Um, depending on where you are in the country, 8 to $13 a square foot um, is about where that budget is. Now, if it, which always should be epoxy grout in a restaurant application. Uh, but most of the time it's not. Um, it might be a little bit more. Um, but there's your coefficient of friction, so there's where it gets even more powerful on protect all side. Um, where core tile goes down in your slip resistance as it gets wet, we go up to 90. So that's a big thing. Um, it can be very inexpensive also. Um, it does have a class A fire rating just because of the nature of the product. So there are pros to the core tile. Uh, but like what I just explained about the Denny situation, the repair costs and things like that, um, that's a big problem. Uh, it is porous. Animal fat will eat grout, and it always does and it always will, and there's nothing they can do about that. Um, I see it on a weekly basis with uh, commercial clients and kitchens that I go into where uh, the tile repair has been neglected. Um, what happens is the grease 
fats, nature of their kitchen, uh, it actually gets into the cement. At that point, um, not only does the floor need to come up, but the cement needs to be repaired. Uh, and the cement has to be degreased and ground down. So um, a lot of kitchens, a lot of people, they don't realize that, that as they neglect their flooring, um, because it's just a pain in the butt to keep having it repaired, they're actually damaging the subfloor, and usually it's the cement floor. So it becomes more of an issue where you've got, um, you know, to the point where I've seen restaurants shut down from uh, health inspectors um, just because of the bacteria and the nature of the floor and the, the safety of it. It happens all the time. So it's a big deal. Uh, that's why we uh, do so well in that market. Our other one is an epoxy and a resin floor. And we see this a lot too. Um, it can get very expensive. It can get very cheap. Um, you can see the, uh, the COFs there compared to Protect All, which um, is much lower as well. Um, I think the biggest thing is you can do uh, that I run into uh, with an epoxy or resinous floor is one, the colors. If they want a fancy color, flakes in it, and uh, you know they want a good slip resistance, so they'll throw in some sort of additive, some sort of grit on the floor, which makes it very, very slip resistant, which is great, and it and it is. Um, but as if anyone knows, that wears off and it chips and flakes and it cracks, and there's no way around it. As well as it's not easy to clean. If you walk into an, a commercial kitchen that has an epoxy floor with uh, some sort of sand or grit in it. Um, Look how clean it is because it's not. Uh, each piece of granular that's in there will be probably has a black ring around it, which is just bacteria because a mop is just getting ripped up and, uh, and the floor is actually not getting that clean um, unless they go in with a scrub brush, um, some sort of cir circular brush, um, which is then eventually going to wear it down. The traffic patterns will also wear that down as well. So then you're continuing just to layer it and layer it, which causes it to crack and flake. Um, so with that uh, out there, like I said, these are two products that we run into in the same applications, um, but it's not really a conversation when it comes to are we competing against them because um, they're just a less superior application. Uh, a lot of times it comes down to money. People sometimes think Protectol is a very expensive product when in reality you can see we're right in the middle. We're not the cheapest. We're certainly not the most expensive. Um, our typical installation from $10 to $15, that in, that's labor, materials, and that's our whole system. That's including the base. Um, we manufacture, because of our metal company, I was telling you about earlier, um, all the cove cap. We do custom drain rings for each application. Um, so the drain rings are inset into the floor for every single kitchen or whatever the application may be. Um, we manufacture it all. So it's a complete waterproof system uh, with the rapid weld seams. Uh, it's an unbreakable seam. Now, if this is an application that doesn't require the rapid weld or maybe the base, um, you know, they just wanted glued down sheets or something like that or the interlocking tiles. Um, so now you're well under, you know, the $10 a foot mark um, for a really durable floor. Um, yeah, if moisture is not an issue and the seams can just be butt seamed together and glued then you know they're saving uh, they're saving a fortune so obviously everything we spoke about the pros um, non-poor stain resistant noise reduction things like that you keep hearing me say um, one cons or two of them I guess that I have put in here is we do not have any raised patterns and um, alternate cleaning methods you can't use one of the like VCT scrubbers or something like that on the floor we don't recommend it um, it does happen Obviously, people will do whatever they have on hand to clean in the commercial world, uh, as you all know, so there's no stopping it. But um, we do recommend just simple green and a deck brush um, to scrub down the floor. It cuts the grease. Uh, we do recommend simple green for two reasons, and two reasons only. One is it works. Um, two is in the video that you're about to see, um, you know, it's squeegee down the drain. That product is an organic, all-natural product, so we can't get in trouble for pushing chemicals down a drain or uh, telling people to do so. So that is why that's what we recommend. When with developing our rapid weld system, our cold weld system, um, 
the product initially was a heat welded floor. Um, heat weld works if it's installed correct, correctly. Uh, and, uh, you know, my personal feeling, I've been in the flooring industry for almost 20 years now, and it takes a really good craftsman uh, to be a good heat welder. Um, one small air bubble or it's not adjusted to the seam, a heat weld will fail over time 100% of the time. Um, it's, it's inevitable. So there are people out there that if you, with any commercial flooring product or project, uh, time's of the essence. Heat welding takes time. Um, there's only one way to do it. It's slow, but you do it right, and heat welds are great. It's only as good as the installation, though. What Protectall ran into years ago were some failed projects, and Protectall wasn't failing the product, but the welds and the seams were failing. They were splitting open like anything else. People will neglect them, and then the grease and things will start getting under the floor. So in order to to kind of fix that, uh, we patented this two-part epoxy rapid weld system. It creates a much faster installation. Um, as soon as the seams are down, the dry time is about 15 minutes, and you can roll traffic back on it. It reduces the labor um, by about a third, but it increases the profitability of a dealer because this is still bid out in most cases like a heat welded product. Uh, so when you're charging for a heat welded product and you're paying your um, your labor on a heat welded product, let's say, um, but they're not heat welding it, they're actually using the chemical cold weld. Um, that product would usually bill out, let's say, if it's a commercial kitchen, you know, three days for the heat weld. Well, now you're doing it in a day um, for the same amount of money. So time is money. Uh, it offers a huge profitability gap by, by utilizing the system. Also, as soon as this bonds on each piece of product, it is there. It has a higher breaking point than the vinyl itself. It's something like 1,800 pounds, I believe. So it's extremely durable. It will never, never fail once installed. And that's why we factory train installation houses and dealers all over the country. We do sell through distribution. Um, nobody can buy this product if it's on the street, if there's a bit on the street, unless you are factory trained. So every month our distribution network across the country gets an updated list of who we've trained. Uh, we host training up in Michigan at our facility every single month. It's a two-day class uh, where companies will bring in their installers or whoever they want to have certified installed. They go through the training class. Their name gets put on the list and gets sent out so they can start bidding on national projects or local projects, things like that. We also have two tech reps around the country that do travel um, and then three or four times a month at one of our distributors, depending on which region needs it, uh, will host a one-day training program. Because um, not a lot of people have the time to go up to Michigan for two days, and we understand that, so we make ourselves available uh, as much as possible to get people trained that are interested. To give you a quick idea, um, I'm going to play this quick video. This is a little video that showcases the rapid weld versus traditional heat welding. So when I talk about profitability and time, you're going to get a really good idea of how this works. I don't know if this is going to be choppy to you or there's no sound, and I apologize. Um, but if it is choppy or you can't hear the sound, I encourage you to go to YouTube and uh, just type in um, Protect All Rapid Weld and take a look at this video. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, if you're looking to become a certified dealer or you want to learn a little bit, a little bit more about it, um, this is something that uh, makes a lot of sense. So I'll give you guys a couple minutes and just enjoy the video. As Ryan mentioned, as you're watching this video, it is available on YouTube, and we will also offer it up on the um, FCICA website. We'll give you a link for it so you can uh, view it in its entirety. And the products that they are using, um, it is a kit after a dealer uh, installation group uh, decides to get certified or is working with Protect All. 
we do have a kit that includes the gun and all the tools uh, that's available for sale through our distribution. Um, so there, this the seams after they are routed, we have a perforated silicone tape that you go over the seams, um, pull off the perforation, which is the center. You use the rapid weld gun, uh, flat knife, um, flattens it out, and then you can just pull the tape right off the floor. So it creates a no mess situation. Um, and like I said, after that's completed, um, it takes about 15 minutes, depending on you know the interior temperature then the, uh, the product's ready to be walked on in construction traffic. Um, so please visit YouTube. You'll see all these other videos. We'll show installations as well as um, some maintenance issues. Um, this is the kit. Um, this is our, uh, our usage rate as far as the cartons are concerned, uh, floor seams and the base seams. So you can see kind of what the lineal foot per cartridge gets. Cure time, 15 minutes. Um, each tube does have a manufacturer's date on it, um, so it is good for one year as far as the shelf life. Um, the colors that come in with the Rapid Weld uh, comes in five different colors. Uh, not all the colors of our sheets, but the most um, common colors. Um, the dark gray is, I think, I was just doing numbers today, I think at the end of the year, dark gray. Uh, accounted for, um, I believe, like 64% of our business last year. Um, so it's the most common color. Uh, light gray, black, terracotta, and brown. Uh, we also have a burgundy, a blue, and a green. Uh, we can do custom colors. Um, we do custom colors for a lot of universities because uh, they are very particular sports teams. They want their color. Um, if the job is over 3,500 square feet, we can make the uh, protect off flooring any color they'd like. Um, also, in that case, we would create the rapid weld uh, seam to be the exact same color too. So it creates a truly a monolithic floor that looks like a solid surface. Um, we can do that. It's not a big deal. It just has to be over a particular amount uh, because of the O-ridge and uh, the process. So keep that in mind. Customs are available. As I mentioned, the cleaning, a deck brush and some simple green. Um, this really also is a nice video to show how easy it is um, compared to something like a quarry tile in a commercial kitchen or a granulated epoxy floor. Um, with, a, with the grout lines and you mop and there's fat and grease and food, you're just pretty much smearing it into the grout, which is then eventually just tearing that down. Uh, but also it's not ever getting clean. Um, it's just bacteria and growth and uh, just dirt growing in a kitchen. Uh, when you walk into a kitchen that you can smell that, uh, that's what that is. That's the, the bacteria in the floor on the grout. Um, and you know, speak for myself, if I walk into kitchens, which I do on a weekly basis, um, if it stinks back there, I'm probably not going to eat there um, because that's their level of cleanliness. It's very apparent. Um, chefs love the product. One is easy clean. It's just comfortable to stand on. And I, I hope these videos are coming through okay. Like I said, if they don't, you can't download them yourself. And then every um, protect all installation that happens, um, we actually supply a cleaning. Uh, it's almost this video uh, laminated for a wall, for a poster that goes in the wall, usually right next to, you know, the Ecolab products, uh, the cleaning, you know, what to do in case of emergencies, the SOPs. Uh, so we supply that too. So it's up on the wall in commercial kitchens. That way they know that um, how to clean their floor.
we do have, uh, obviously, like everybody else, tons of marketing stuff. Um, we have application-specific um, features that they're called. Uh, a couple of them are attached to uh, the PDFs. Um, what you can do is if you go to our website, if you have an application, there's a possibility that, you know, if it's a water park specific or animal or restaurant, uh, university, sports, um, things like that, um, we might have one already where you can just download the PDF, print it out, or just forward it on to a customer. Uh, and that way it hits home. If there's not and you'd like one, that's another thing we have the flexibility to do. A uh, very quick turnaround is do custom marketing pieces. Uh, and that's just an email to me saying, hey, Ryan, uh, I'm working with, uh, you know, a private jet firm and they're looking for this for the hangars and things like that. Um, that's all we need to know and we'll put it together because I'm sure we've done something like that in the past. Um, the two-minute fact sheet and the feature and benefit sheets are good bullet points if you're presenting to a client or you just want to send someone here some quick things about this product. That makes it very, very easy. Um, they're all available. If you'd like, you can always as well uh, get hold of Kelly or myself, and I'm more than happy to send out samples or an actual architectural binder if you'd like to take it into a client. Um, I'm also, uh, you know, I travel a lot, so I'm always available also. If you'd like to um, present this to a client and you need me there for support or you'd like to, for me to present it to an end user or something like that, um, my schedule is, is busy, but I can always make time, and uh, I'm in the air a lot, so I can... Um, usually close <laughs> close to an airport where I can get to where you are or where your client is if need be. Uh, please never hesitate to ask. Those are the things that you'll find attached. Um, they're there for you, for your disposal, um, and to take a look at. Um, at this point, that's kind of it uh, for me. If you have any questions, feel free. You can type them in the chat bar. We can answer them. Um, my information um, will be sent out, I believe. Kelly, is that correct? Yep, I will send everybody. All the attendees will receive your content information as well as PDFs of all those uh, brochures that you shown, Ryan. Great. Great. Well, that's Protect All in a quick 50-minute uh, uh, presentation. Uh, I hope you got some information out of it uh, or are intrigued by the product. If you didn't know about the product, uh, thank you for taking the time to learn about it. Uh, if you did know about the product, uh, I appreciate the time of just keeping up to date on it. And, uh, you know, what's uh, things that are coming around, we are looking into a spec of product. We're under development there, um, which is kind of exciting for us. Um, and that's strictly because of the... Um, the big gymnasiums, uh, workout facilities that are popping up all over. They, uh, we've been contacted multiple times to add a speckle into it. Um, so we, we are working on that. Um, but other than that, we will be at Surfaces uh, in two weeks in Las Vegas. If you're out there, please come by and take a look at us. We are having a demonstration in, at Surfaces on Wednesday in the main hall. There will be a protect all installation going on. Uh, so that's always something uh, if you're down there to look out for too. But uh, thank you very much for your time. Okay, hey, Ryan, we had a couple questions that came in uh, while you were speaking. I'm going to go ahead and uh, read those to you. Um, uh, let's see. The first one, can you talk a little bit more about, um, you talked about how um, Protect All, um, you train the installer. Can you talk a little bit more about what's involved in that? Yeah, um, so for instance, the two-day program that's uh, at our facilities up in northern Michigan, so what we do is uh, we have mock-ups built up there, um, and they are a big, um, it's a flat mock-up, but it has, you know, uh, two inside corners, two outside corners, a drain, the base system and all that, so the, the guys will come up there, uh, they'll learn how to prep the surface, um, how to, you know, cut the sheets, measure the sheets. Um, the sheets are thick and they are very tough, so it's, it's not like cutting a thin vinyl or a rubber floor or carpet tile by any means. Um, it takes a little bit more than that. Um, so they learn how to install the floor and then they learn how to route out all the seams, the tools that they're going to need, the routers, the depths, the blades, 
uh, everything that our distributors will sell to them for the installation of this product. Um, it, it is a very particular, the product works 100% of the time done right. So um, we, we train them on everything from the aspects of, like I said, routing out how to inset the drain rings to the way our base system goes up. Uh, the proper steps to make it a waterproof floor, how to use our cove cap system, our inside and outside quarters. Um, so one day they'll sit there and they'll go through the entire product knowledge, how it's made. Uh, the next day they do the install. Um, so it is, it is a long two days. Uh, we do pay for the room and board and food and all that. Uh, there is a small cost to send people up to do it. Um, but other than that, it's taken care of. So it's uh, it is it is worth you know it's an investment, um, but also someone that's not a factory trained installer, um, they're missing out on um, a lot of you know national count projects that are out there every day. Where we've got guys to the point that you know are stretched thin because they're doing so much protect all work. So uh, in a big market when there's only three or four contractors that uh, can even install or are allowed to install it, it's a huge advantage to have that under your belt as uh, a product that you can go out and bid. Um, Protect all also, we do supply leads on a, uh, on a daily basis to our certified installers. All right, thanks, Brian. Uh, a couple more questions to come in. Um, let's a comment we had, make sure you let everyone know about Dilot. Yeah, about Dilot. Well, like any other foreign product in the world, um, you know, uh, if the product is made at a different time, um, even though it's the same color, same color number, you are going to have different Dilots. Um, so there can be some shading uh, or, you know, the color is going to be a little off from... Um, you know, a product that was made in August versus one that was made uh, today. Um, you know, that's the nature of any flooring material out there. Um, nobody's going to get around that. So as long as you express and let clients know if it is a staged or a, uh, a job that's, you know, phased out, um, as long as the end user understands that, um, it's really never a problem. All right. Thank you. Another question. Um... Uh, this attendee says, so bracket weld is something they have not seen before and their certified installers are not familiar with it either and they have not done a project, protect all job in a while. Uh, is there a quick refresher course for them or do they need to take the full training again? No, as soon as uh, that happens all the time with rapid weld, as soon as you are a certified um, installer, um, if you've done the heat welding in the past but you haven't seen rapid weld in this particular case, all we need to know is where you're at. We can uh, send someone down or even myself. Um, it, it can take uh, 30 minutes. Um, I, I just show up with the kit, the samples, um, teach them right there on hand, and uh, it's that easy. And we update our database that uh, with people that do get certified or trained, um, I guess trained rather than certified, but that's a bad word. But, we do have what they were trained on, so we know there's a lot of people out there that have been trained but that have never been updated with rapid weld. So it's just it's just a phone call away. We'll find out where you are in the country and we'll make it happen. Perfect. Okay, uh, Ryan. Next question: um, Do you sell product the products to dealers that do not have certified installers? Uh, no, we do not. Um, we if it's if it's an installation, let's say that is like a um, uh, a, um, a non-rapid weld installation, um, if a dealer goes out there and proposes this for an interlocking tile job, let's say to a sports facility or anything, what it is, but the interlocking tile, as long as I know they're doing that, I can call the distributor um, and give them the okay to sell that product to uh, a non-trained dealer. Um, because if they're not using the wrap well, they're not doing a waterproof installation. Um, so if it's in an interlocking tile job or something like that, a direct glue, um, it just takes a phone call and we can get that worked out. Uh, if it is a rapid weld system, no, they cannot purchase it uh, at all. Okay, and to, and to access then the products and the training, they can just contact you? Yep. Yep, you can contact me directly on our website. There is a form. 
um, a training program form. Um, there's a calendar with all the dates. So really, if they want to contact me, I can send it to them. Or if they got on the website, you can download the form. You fill it out, the installation or the crews or names of people that are coming, uh, and you send it off to the email that's listed there. Uh, and then Susan would get back to them, um, pick the dates, and then we would book the hotels and give them confirmation. And it's a pretty smooth, seamless process. Um, but it's very easy. But I'm always a help to walk through it with anyone. Uh, just a couple more quick questions. Um, what's the lead time on the product? Uh, the lead time is about 10 days. If it's over 1,000 square feet, um, it could, you know, it could go to 14 days. Um, but if it is over uh, 1,000 square feet of, let's say, blue or green, uh, you're definitely in the 15 work days. So. But 10 days is usually... Uh, the max. Uh, we can be anywhere in the country uh, within those 10 days. Okay. Um, last question for you that we have time for today. And again, any questions that you have, you can forward them to me or you, your, Ryan's information um, will be right in your handout so you can contact him directly. Uh, Ryan, last question. Uh, what is the warranty on the Protectile flooring product? Uh, the Protectile carries a 10-year Warranty, commercial warranty. Um, it, so it's a lifetime warranty in the commercial world. That's 10 years. Um, really, with the Rapid Weld system installed by a trained installer, it is a forever floor, and I have no problem telling clients that um, that once this is down and done right, it, it will last forever. But it is a 10-year warranty. Great. That sounds great. Okay, so here is uh, Ryan's information. Again, uh, this will be contained. Um, in your uh, PDF of, of our presentation today, so you'll have it. I'm always available to give it to you again. Um, we want to uh, take this time to thank uh, Protect All Flooring for sponsoring today's webinar, and especially thank you, Ryan, for uh, presenting it uh, to us today. Lots of great information. Um, it, if you'd like more information, again, contact Ryan directly, or um, you can contact me here at FCICA. Uh, my email is here on the screen now. Um, and then if you're interested in participating in the future FCICA promotional webinar series, you can contact me as well. Um, so thanks so much for joining us, and uh, have a great day, everybody. Thank you.